This is Ricky Harbor with Subside Electronics. During this lesson, we will walk you through the process of creating a bore plan using GPS. You should already have Field Scout on your mobile device, and you should have already reviewed Lesson 1. If you plan on following along during this lesson, here are a few items you will need. Of course, you will need a mobile device with Field Scout downloaded from the App Store. Keep in mind that your iPhone must be 4S or later and that iPads must be third generation or later. Field Scout will also be available on Android devices in the first quarter of 2018. You also need a GPS receiver. I want to spend a little time providing some requirements for you to think about when looking for a GPS device. If mapping grade is important, look for a GNSS single or multi-frequency receiver that will send real-time corrected data over the Bluetooth connection. The receiver must be capable of sending these NMEA data messages in the standard 0183 format. These message strings include GGA, GNS, GST, GSA, or RMC. Low-end consumer GPS units can be used, but accuracies will vary from 3 to 15 meters. It's not very accurate, but shows that you have been on site. On iOS devices, you may also need a GPS interface app, depending on the GPS unit you choose. This allows the phone to monitor the data from the GPS device and then use that same data in Field Scout. This app must be running in the background for Field Scout to get data from the external GPS receiver. If this interface app is not running in the background, then Field Scout may use the internal GPS in the iOS mobile device, which is less accurate. There are compatible GPS receivers that will work with iOS mobile devices without the need to run an additional app in the background. For assistance in choosing a GPS device to fit your need, please contact your local Ditchwitch dealer. During this tutorial, we will be using the Blue Star GNSS receiver and my iPhone 6 Plus. This GPS unit will require us to run an interface app in the background to connect the external GPS to Field Scout. We need to begin by powering on our GPS receiver outdoors and allow it to gather satellites and get a GPS lock. If using an iOS device, go into settings and connect the GPS device to your mobile device via Bluetooth. Please refer to the GPS operator's manual for information on your device. The next step is to open the GPS Utility app if needed. Once the app is open and you have verified that data is streaming from the GPS receiver to your mobile device, click on the Home button again to hide the app. The app is still running in the background. To verify that it's still running, you can double tap the Home button. When satisfied, Single tap the home button to return. Now we are ready to open Field Scout. During this bore, we will be using a GPS receiver to measure distance for each waypoint and obstacle from our entry point. Start by selecting New Plan from the menu. Click on OK. Then name the plan and provide description and notes if needed. For this tutorial, we want to make sure that plan type is set to GPS. This will provide us with the distance measurement 
and GPS coordinates for each waypoint or obstacle. Keep in mind, the GPS calculated distance must be selected for GPS measured plan. Also remember that accuracy will be dependent on the GPS device used. Recreational devices will only provide accuracies of 3 to 15 meters. There are GPS receivers that provide sub-meter and sub-centimeter accuracies. Subscriptions or post-processing may be required to obtain these kinds of accuracies. Next, we will need to set our drill pipe length. Next, be sure to set the minimum distance separation for the utilities you will be crossing. This defaults for all utilities and obstacles, so be sure to take that into consideration with this setting. For this tutorial, we will use one foot or 30 centimeters. You can also add additional information such as your client information, your information as the contractor, as well as your drill operator information. Now we are ready to add or edit waypoints. Select the edit icon from the bottom, of, bottom tab. Tap on the entry point to view the GPS lock button. Once the lat long numbers have settled, tap the GPS icon to lock in the coordinates. This will also set the entry distance at zero. All other waypoints and obstacle distances will be measured from this point. Fill in depth if needed. This measurement is usually left at zero unless the drill is set up in a unique situation such as in a pit. We're going to add a communication waypoint by selecting the add obstacle icon. Select the communication obstacle from the list and then wait for the GPS coordinates to settle and tap the GPS icon to lock in the coordinates. Set the plan bore depth in these fields. Then set your measured obstacle or utility depth here. If needed, you can add a photo which is tied to this obstacle. Click on the plus action button. You have a choice of adding additional obstacle by selecting the triangle. But for this lesson, we will select the camera icon. Another pop-up appears, giving you the choice to select between Take Photo or Choose from Library. Whichever you choose, the photo will be added to your plan and associated with this obstacle waypoint. Continue until all waypoints and obstacles have been added to the plan. To view your plan on a map, select the Map View icon. The map will show waypoints and obstacles along the planned bore path. The map may be viewed vertically or horizontally simply by rotating the mobile device. To view the bore profile graph, select the profile view icon. The planned profile view can also be viewed horizontally or vertically. The horizontal view will be less skewed due to the horizontal compression of the graph. The triangle in the profile view represents different obstacles, while the green squares are the planned waypoint depths along the bore. This plan is now ready to be sent for approval and or uploaded to your Commander 7 display. Uploading your plan to the Commander 7 will be covered in a later tutorial. In the previous lesson, we showed you how to send the plan for approval by going back to the menu screen. Now we will show you a shortcut to the email upload functions. Start by selecting the upload icon. The next screen 
gives you the option of sending the plan via email, copying the plan to Google Earth, or sending the plan to the drill. Since we want to send this for approval, we want to select Send Mail. When Send Mail is selected, Field Scout will compile five attachments in the email. Fill in the recipient email address, then select Send. An additional Send Plan option includes the ability to copy the plan to Google Earth, which allows the user to view the plan bore as long as they have Google Earth installed on the mobile device. You also have the option to send the plan to the drill. This allows the, the user to upload the plan bore to the Commander 7. This process will be covered in a later tutorial. Be sure to go back to Subsite YouTube page for additional videos and tutorials on Field Scout Bore Planner. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to contact your local Dickwich dealer. Thank you for watching.